World War II was the most destructive conflict in human history. With the horrific fighting came unimaginable human suffering and chaos. And when the war ended in 1945, there was not peace. The enemy of hunger was still on the attack. Food was desperately needed by millions of people in Europe and Asia. Children were the most in need. The children of today are having, are forming each day the mental concepts, the mental prejudices, the emotions that are going to rule and govern them uh, through their lifetime. And over at least half of the earth, they are hungry. In many instances, in many countries, almost universally, they are going in packs, up and down alleys. They are searching uh, for a garbage heap in which they find all too little of any kind of sustenance, sustenance that will keep them alive. Every man here who served with me in Europe has witnessed this with his own eyes. How can we expect children who are reduced almost to an animal-like a level of existence, struggling each day for any kind of scrap that will keep them alive, how can we expect them to develop the ideas and the ideals that in the future will bring them to be apostles of peace. They are by very nature of the struggle they are carrying on, by the very nature of the struggle they are carrying on, wedded to the philosophy of force. Whatever they get, they get by their own efforts and by scratching in the garbage heap. That cannot go on if we are to have peace. Help was on the way from the United States and its allies. In Austria, United States General Mark Clark and his staff urgently sought to stop the rising malnutrition among Austrian children. To fight child hunger in Austria, school lunch programs were started. Who would think that something as simple as soup and a roll could be a life-changing event for a child? But with that extra meal, children could gain much-needed nourishment and be able to concentrate better in school. The United States and its allies sought to expand the school lunch program in Austria. In Germany, former President Herbert Hoover found children in a desperate condition from hunger and malnutrition. Hoover started a school lunch program for millions of German kids. United States General Lucius Clay wrote that this school feeding program saved the health of German youth and did more to convince the German people of our desire to recreate their nation than any other action on our part. If every source of supplies will do its utmost, we can pull the world through this most dangerous crisis. The saving of these human lives is far more than an economic necessity to the recovery of the world. It is more than the only path to order or the only path to stability and to peace because such action marks the return of the lamp of compassion on this earth. And that is a part of the moral and the spiritual reconstruction of the world. Today, with 300 million children across the globe suffering from hunger, there is still a tremendous need for school lunch programs. Food and education are what children and these developing nations need to have a future. For many kids, the school lunches are the only meal they receive the entire day. The school lunches encourage parents to send their kids to school. Today, we must ask ourselves if we are doing everything we can to promote peace. If we do not vigorously combat child hunger, then the answer to that question is no. Eliminating child hunger is of paramount importance in the quest for peace. The ultimate goal is a world where every child can receive a school lunch.